After their initial release, a significant number of video games are either ignored or rapidly forgotten about. It's possible to think that some games don't get much attention because they aren't very good, but in many instances that assumption couldn't be further from reality. These gems frequently go undiscovered by the greater gaming community and receive a far smaller amount of recognition than they should receive for their achievements. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about the top 5 hidden gem PC games. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 5. Nobody Saves the World Have you ever considered how The Legend of Zelda would benefit from the addition of RPG progression methods and classes? Have you ever considered giving Link the ability to use a bow instead of his sword, or vice versa? Drinkbox Studios, the creators of Wacomali, were the first to design such a game. Nintendo has yet to create a game like that. In Nobody Saves the World, the game's protagonist, players take on the role of a nobody. The protagonist is a blank slate, they have no distinguishing features and no memories of their past. Because they stole a wand, their only power is the ability to shape-shift into various forms and gain talents associated with those forms. The humor in Nobody Saves the World is typical of what gamers have come to expect from Drinkbox Studios, but the game's form-based challenges are the main reason people will want to play it. The player will be able to obtain additional forms as they go through the game's randomly generated dungeons. Each new form will have its own set of duties that correlate to its attributes. The gameplay consists of getting a new shape on a regular basis, fulfilling objectives and being awarded with even more forms and powers than before. Gamers can combine several forms and skills to create builds that are both weird and incredibly powerful. In traditional video games, when a player completes a quest, they are awarded with things that are only functional for a limited time. However, in Nobody Saves the World, the players are rewarded with new objectives to perform which is far more pleasant than it may sound at first. Number 4. Shadow Warrior 3 If you asked a gamer to name a first-person shooter franchise that has existed since the 1990s, the vast majority would probably respond, Doom or Wolfenstein. They are, however, not your only two options. There is also the option of answering with Shadow Warrior which despite never receiving as much attention as the other two games, has paradoxically received since its rebirth in 2013. Even more astonishingly, its success resulted in not one, but two sequels. True, this is a double intender, but Shadow Warrior 3 is a fast-paced first-person shooter starring Lo Wan. The game places players on various levels, each of which has a new type of demon that they must defeat. Because players must constantly move around in order to keep their status alive, mobility is the name of the game. Furthermore, numerous arenas are littered with booby traps that can be shot to annihilate swarms of demons or, if the players aren't paying attention, the players themselves. Despite the fact that Shadow Warrior 3 and Doom Eternal share certain genetic material, the former is not a direct replica of the latter. Lo Wan, for example, is the exact antithesis of the Doom Slayer, he is haughty, obstinate, and talks more than Deadpool. Wyam, on the other hand, is a terrific and realistic protagonist because he is weak and prone to making mistakes. In addition, he has the ability to rip the organs of demons and use them as weapons. Number 3. World of Maples We wanted to maintain the classic feel of this game. Bare minimum instructional. Come on in and have some fun. World of Maples is a roguelike platformer, speedrunner, and local player against player brawler that takes place in 2D, up to 4 players on the local server. Features. PV, 20 levels total. Up to 4 players at once. Local PvP, 6 arenas. Last Man Standing. Up to four players at once. Support for keyboards, Xbox, and PlayStation portable controllers. P-R-T-I-C-I-P-A-T-E in remote game is with your F-R-I-E-N-D-E-S. Has a good feel when played on Steam Deck. Adorable main characters. Gameplay that ranges from difficult to extremely difficult. A collection of musings from many brilliant people old school. There is no saving of progress. And it is more fun to play with others. Number 2. Dawn of the Monsters. On the one hand, the popularity of movies featuring kaiju, sometimes known as large monsters capable of devastating cities, is at an all-time high. Within the last 10 years, fans of the Godzilla franchise have been treated to more installments of the film franchise than they did in the previous five years combined. On the other hand, there is a lack of new content being released for kaiju video games. Dawn of the Monsters is a throwback to traditional beat-em-up games, but it has a manga-inspired aesthetic. However, rather than pitting players against the nefarious gang members and punks seen in games like Streets of Rage, Dawn of the Monsters draws inspiration from the vast pool of kaiju media. Despite the fact that every character and monster design is original, it is easy to see how they were influenced by other works such as Ultraman and Godzilla. 
The mere pleasure of watching, or in this case, commanding, the huge creatures battle each other contributes much to the overall appeal of the game. The gameplay of Dawn of the Monsters consists primarily of moving from left to right, attacking other players while wreaking havoc on the surrounding area. The fighting system, despite giving the impression of being straightforward, has a great deal of depth, and it pushes players to battle tactically while also allowing for a certain amount of wild abandon. Dawn of the Monsters is an immersive experience that appeals to the primal part of our brains that merely enjoys witnessing spectacular acts of destruction. Number 1. Sifu Kung Fu movies are nothing but a fantasy of strength. Everyone on some level harbors the secret desire to be able to engage legions upon legions of nameless bullies as an unstoppable whirlwind of fists and feet. But how does a development studio accurately recreate that sensation in the form of a video game? Sifu managed to find a solution. The stunning beat-em-up known as Sifu follows the story of an unnamed martial artist who embarks on a mission to avenge the death of his Sifu, which literally translates to, to mentor. The main character goes on a quest and along the way breaks up drug rings, defeats formidable bosses with supernatural powers, and maintains his cool demeanor while accomplishing all of this. The presentation and roguelike characteristics of Sifu are what contribute most to the game's popularity. The game is a moving masterpiece on account of its stunning visuals and intricate combat choreography, both of which capture the spirit of a kung fu movie perfectly. On the other hand, captivating gameplay is the most important aspect of a video game, and reviewers agree that Sifu excels in this regard as well. The game employs an innovative take on the death concept, which sees the main character return after being killed, gaining age while simultaneously strengthening their attacks in exchange for some of their health. When the player resurrects an excessive number of times, the protagonist will eventually perish, and the game will need to be restarted. This system requires players to commit enemy attacks to memory and unlock shortcuts, in order to maintain their youth for as long as possible, which is a task that is equally as tough as it is enjoyable. That's a wrap on the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.